Topping the heat index this morning, that royal christening. It's being watched all over the world. Queen Elizabeth, three future kings of England, all gathering today right there. The Royal Chapel, St. James Palace right there. And ABC's Ro Amy Roback has more on the big moment for the newest member of the royal family. For royal watchers, the wait is over. Today's christening will provide the first glimpse of Prince George in two months. This is the first time we're going to have seen the Queen with three direct heirs to the throne. And that is going to be you know, a momentous image. The christening will unfold in the Chapel Royal of St. James Palace, witnessed by four generations of royals. Three decades prior, William was baptized in the music room of Buckingham Palace, Princess Diana famously soothing him with her finger. She was very upset because the christening was at the wrong time of day and William was crying, he was hungry, and she actually stuck her finger in his mouth to keep him quiet. Royal watchers predict, like Diana, Kate will demonstrate a keen maternal instinct at her son's christening. Kate's really going to get to show us how proficient she is and how much in love with this baby she is. William, like his brother Harry and generations before, was christened in a sumptuous gown originally commissioned by Queen Victoria in the image of her own wedding gown. Deemed too fragile by the Queen, it was retired in 2004. But in a nod to tradition, George will be outfitted in a replica of the original. The Queen's dresser made it and she had to dye the lace in tea to make it have that kind of fawny color. And serving as official christening photographer, Jason Bell. Best known for his edgy images of rock stars and Hollywood actors, he's considered an unconventional pick. It's kind of marking the way she wants to be seen as a royal, a little bit different to the previous ones. Arguably, the day's most anticipated photo will be the so-called royal flush. Queen Elizabeth posing for the first time with Princes Charles, Williams, and George, Britain's three future kings. The royal flush, I love that. Well, following the service, there will be a private tea in Clarence House. Guests will be served slices of christening cake, which is a tier of eight, taken from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's wedding cake, made up of 17 individual fruit cakes, much like my own wedding cake. Yes. <laughs> oh. Sounds wow. delicious. Yeah. Yes. Fruit cake, really? A year, fruit but a Frozen year, a year oh. plus later, yeah. they put it in the oh. freezer, I think, Tiny right? <laughs> Thankfully, <laughs> tiny pieces. Let's go Sounds to incredibly Palace now. <laughs> We're joining by ABC News Royal contributor Victoria Murphy, also the royal reporter of the Daily Mirror. Thank you for joining us this morning, Victoria. Let's get to the godparents. First, tell us more about this list. Good morning, everyone. Yes, well, announced this morning, Prince George's godparents, the long-awaited announcement of who is going to guide him through his spiritual life as a royal. We were anticipating six, but actually Prince George is extra lucky because he has been given seven godparents by his parents. Um, and true to form, William and Kate have shunned royal tradition of using foreign royals and dignitaries as Prince George's godparents. And they have gone instead for a mixture of their closest friends and their closest aides. They have chosen a childhood friend each. They have chosen a mutual university friend. They have chosen a friend of William's father and a friend of William's late mother. They have chosen their most trusted aide, Jamie Lowther Pinkerton, whose son was a page boy at their wedding. And the only royal on the list is William's cousin, Zara Phillips. A few breaks from tradition here as well from the location, uh, also the photographer. How are they going down? Well, exactly. William and Kate have, true to form, decided not to go with royal tradition. There's a nod to tradition. However, they are having this christening in the Chapel Royal in St. James's Palace, not the music room in Buckingham Palace. They have not chosen a royal photographer. They have chosen a more edgy celebrity photographer to take the pictures. And I think, you know, the Queen, the royal family are very happy with these decisions. The Queen understands more than anyone that the royal family, to remain relevant, has to move with the times. And as long as William and Kate aren't doing anything crazy, which they're not, she is happy for them to put their own modern twist on on this christening. All right, Victoria, George won't be the one to ask, so Lara and I will. Mm -hmm. Do we know what she's going to be wearing? Do we know? <laughs> You're right, I wasn't What, what Kate okay. is going to be wearing? <laughs> Do we know what Kate is going to be wearing? Well, we know what George is going to be wearing. George is going to be wearing a christening gown, a traditional christening gown, a replica of a gown that's been in the royal family for 150 years. However, 
The, West, the question on everyone's lips is always, what is Kate going to be wearing? And we will find out when she arrives for the christening, around about 2.30pm here this afternoon. Um, but, but we don't know yet, I'm afraid. <laughs> they do keep something secret. Victoria, thank you very much. I know it's a very exciting mm -hmm. day there.